you know, if you think of maps as the instrument of colonialism, no, I mean, if you want to colonize a place, you need to know where things are. You draw a map, you plan where you're going, what, what land you're going to take and how you're going to inhabit it. And therefore, the history of cartography is very associated with the history of empire and colonization. But what you choose to draw and what you choose to withdraw from a map is a political decision. So counter cartography enter into that choice. And rather than uh, simply mapping the areas to be colonized, it actually comes to expose the mechanism of colonization. So in a sense, if you, if you think about it like that, colonization is always a double crime. It's a crime against people and territory, and it's a crime against the truth that the crime has at all taken place. So it's a kind of a mechanism of erasure, physical erasure, and epistemic erasure. That is, it, it actually hides and, and wipes the facts of its own wrongdoing.